What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm giving you the one thing you've been asking me for years. I'm gonna show you how I rank videos on YouTube for my clients. Um, this is pretty much one of the strategies that I think everybody should, should know, especially if you're gonna be doing any type of profile business videos or video business cards for clients. So let's get right into it. First things first, I was gonna say that I actually recorded this video earlier today and my computer did not record my actual screen. So this is kind of going to be kind of a fast breakdown of everything that I did. All right, first things first, I'm going to go to YouTube. Uh, you're going to make sure that you have access to your client's uh, account. Uh, normally what I tell them to do is, if you don't know how to do this, you tell them to go to their YouTube studios. This is if they already have a YouTube account set up, right? Um, YouTube studios, you go to settings, settings, you go to permissions, uh, manage permissions from here. You click through, I don't think I'm actually going to have permission to go here. Um, but you go to permissions. I'll do it on my channel just to show you guys. Let's go here. So pretty much if I was going to do it, settings, permissions invite and I'll put the email, whatever email you're using to run or manage your YouTube, that's where you wanna go. So from there also, speaking of this, if you're watching this, you're not subscribed to the channel, which a lot of you guys aren't, hit the subscribe button right now. Um, let's get back. So like I said, I actually did this earlier today. Um, so in the process of uploading the video, let me see if I can do this one. Oh, I already did it this one. Okay. Um, so we're going to upload the video. Uh, and pretty much when I upload the video, I already used this is a little extra tip. I actually put the word I'm trying to rank for inside of the file name. So I, after I export it with like, you know, version two, three, four, five, whatever it might be, before I upload it to YouTube, I'll change the name of it to the word I'm actually trying to rank. Uh, this would just give you a little boost. Once I upload this on here, while it's uploading, I'll do a little bit of research. One of the tools I like using is called Uber Suggest. Uh, we can sign up for free. There's a paid version. I don't use a paid version. I, I use the free just to kind of get an idea of uh, some keywords that I'm looking for. So keyword analyzer, uh, keyword ideas, and right now I'm just going to put, you know, if you're a plumber, do plumber, whatever city you're in. So right now I'm going to do Stuart Dentist. So from here, it's going to give me, um, you know, Stuart Dentist, the volume, right? You want to look at the volume and also the SEO difficulty. So right now I would pretty much copy all of these words here that have good search volume. And I'll actually copy these and I'll create a uh, Google Docs with all of these words. This is going to make your life a lot easier. I actually did this earlier, like I mentioned. Um, I pretty much created a list of all the different keywords that I would want to be ranking the video for. And then if you're going to upload this to um, your tags, um, just put a comma after it. This is going to make your life a lot easier. This way you can just copy and paste everything. Um, so, you know, you want to do a couple different searches. So we got Stuart Dentist. You could do, um, let's try what's another good one. Stuart Pediatric Dentist. Let's see what comes up here. Um, Stuart Pediatric Dentistry, Dynamic Pediatric, Stuart PA. So pretty much, I think I already got the good ones from here. The other thing I'd want to do, um, going back to YouTube, You'd want to use um, a tool um, like TubeBuddy or vidIQ. I'm actually currently using uh, vidIQ, the paid version, $10 a month for my personal YouTube channel. Um, so I'm, I got a lot of the data earlier from there. But for a lot of you guys, I know you're going to be doing this um, <clears throat> right from the beginning. Um, so you're probably not paying for that. So let's just do But sign up for the free version. The free version, when you're starting out, just as good. Stuart Dentist. <clears throat> so right now we have Dr. Michael. So, you know, 
blah, 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 two years ago. It doesn't have many views. So dental implant stewards. So this is a good one right now. Top related opportunities. I don't want to copy this, copy this one, add it to my list. I think I might already have it here. Dental implants. Yep. Already on the list. Um, so I'll go in here and pretty much this theory applies to a lot of the different videos, pretty much everything that you do. Um, see, he doesn't have a lot of keywords here, right? Very few keywords and what he's doing, but normally what I would do using the different search terms, I'll go in and I'll look to see what words are they using uh, to rank. I'll copy those words and add them to my list. So that way when I'm uh, optimizing the video, uh, I have everything there. And same thing here, right? He has his information, website, blah, 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 blah. Um, the big thing with this, and this kind of goes for SEO purposes as well, you don't have to do everything that Google recommends. You just have to outdo your competition. So after I get all my keywords, I do this for a couple different videos. So let's try uh, dentist Stewart, dent, dentist Stewart, Florida. It's another one here. Dot this guy's using any keywords. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's doing. So I already ranked this video. This video wasn't here earlier today. Uploaded six hours ago. Um, you know, already has 41 views. Honestly, I think by the end of the week, this video here will already be up here. Um, and why is that important? Is because right now we are ranking this video, Stuart Dentist, along with all the different keywords that I've added on here. I'm using these words, and here's already showing you the different words I'm ranking for. These are the same words that we got off Uber Suggest, and this is for SEO purposes, right? And if you don't know this, Google owns YouTube, which makes YouTube the world's second largest search engine powered by Google. So by me ranking this video here with these keywords and optimizing it on YouTube, eventually what's gonna happen as we move more to a mobile video era this video is going to start appearing on the front page of uh, of Google as well. Um, so let's go back to here, the back end of things. So I got all my keywords on here. Uh, like I said, I'm using vidIQ. Once I optimize the video, I came in here, I added a description. I usually pull this from the client's website and I'll kind of go through it and kind of see if there's any keywords on here. I'll try to, I added a couple uh, right over here. Uh, that I think we could rank for. I went and put the location of, you know, where they're located. This is all for kind of Google purposes. Everything that you add in here is gonna help you rank. Uh, when you're adding links, you wanna make sure that you're adding HTTPS, not just the freshonlydental.com because what happens is you won't be able to click through. By adding the HTTPS, it makes all these links clickable. And what I did here, I added all the links from Facebook, Instagram, Yelp, anything I could pretty much create a link in between, um, you know, this video and different sites offside of YouTube to kind of boost um, its engagement throughout the, the internet. We'll put it in a layman terms. Uh, other things that we did, you know, office hours, phone number, I wanna make it super easy for the person. Um, and then also, you know, like I said, I usually get the first, whatever the title, I actually put that on the first part here. Normally, what you want to do is put the word that you're really trying to rank for at the front of um, the front of your description or even in the front of your, uh, of your uh, tags as well. So from here, the next thing that you want to do is going to be, let me see the cosmetic dentist. Or maybe you want to add someone. And sometimes, you know, as you monitor this kind of stuff, you figure out um, what keywords are working, some that, some that aren't, and uh, what can you add on here that's gonna actually help uh, increase visibility, visibility for your clients. So I always kind of come back and look to see if there's anything new. Um, from here, I also added video location, which has their address here, you know, Freshly Dental, Stuart, this kind of pings down the location where the video is at. 
from here you end up going next 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 and when you actually go to publish the video i do an instant premiere and then when the instant premiere is done or where i get the link for the instant premiere the next thing i'll do i'll copy the link and i'll open about 10 pages with the same link so when it's premiering is getting the boost and views um this is something I learned a long time ago. I actually haven't seen that video on anymore, but I do this for all of my videos and um, it's been helping, you know, from what I've, from what I've seen, I haven't been flagged for anything yet, but this is just something that I do to get a little bit uh, extra boost on the video. And from there, that is really it. Um, this is kind of the process of what I do to rank videos for clients. If you guys found this helpful, make sure to hit the like button. If you're new here, consider subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.